Hi guys, MGS Warrior 2 back with you to uh, give you another part of my Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. So it's time for me to uh, continue on. Looks like there's a bush there for me to cut. But that only leads to some berries, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that another time. So this is the only way up is up these stairs. This way? Yeah, I take the bridge I think up here. Alright, I, I believe this is the first encounter on this route for me. And it's a Ponyta. Which is a good choice of a fire Pokemon. It has pretty high speed. Okay, my top model will be weakening this. So I'm going to be using the Confusion. As Pony to use Ember first, but it's not going to do much in the rain. So let's see how much this Confusion does. It doesn't do all that much. But that will work out anyways, because I don't want it to do much to this Ponyta if I'm trying to catch it. No, it uses Growl, but I'm using a special attack. So that's not going to matter to top model. Here comes second confusion. And I believe that should be good enough for capture. So it's time to uh, dig in my bag, throw out a Pokeball. Try to catch this Ponyta. But no, it popped out right away. So it looks like I may have to take a, a risk with another confusion. But I have a good feeling that it's gonna live one more confusion, so let's find out. One more confusion, top model. And I was right, it barely held on after the third confusion. So let's try this again, another Pokeball. Fantastic, I've captured this Ponyta. data added to the Pokedex. About an hour after birth, its fiery mane and tail grow out, giving it an impressive appearance. Time to name this Ponyta. Um, let's see. I'll just name this Ponyta Speedy. Because it's lightning quick when it gallops. So that will be stored away in box 1 in case I need it. So alright, it's time for me to uh, cross this bridge and there's an item over here. Oops, I gotta go right in front of it. Guard spec. It's one of those X items. So alright, I will tuck that away for maybe I'll sell it, I'm not sure. So I have to um, get in my bag and let's see if I can spray some repels so I won't be bothered by any more wild encounters. So I have five more repels, so I'll spray one of those. I think there might be a long um, bridge that takes me over to that trainer, we'll see. But let's see, I'll go this way for now and fight this other karate trainer. Every drop of sweat I shed makes me that much stronger. Stronger reminds me of the Kanye West song, Stronger. Now that, 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 that don't kill me can only make me stronger. Alright, it's Black Bell Nathaniel and sends out his Krogunk. So top model's ready for Krogunk any time of the week. So it has anticipation. 
So I'll be going for the four times super effective confusion, so this crow gunk won't stand a chance of surviving that. So there, down goes crow gunk. It's been beaten very easily. I I very much like my new member of my team, um, my metatite top model. So here comes another uh, um, metatite to battle mine. So I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch into Zuni, who has the type advantage. So here comes this black belt's metatite. Come to think of it, Meditate also has a type advantage being part psychic, but Zuni's faster, so it's not going to be a problem because Zuni is jolly. But it used Detect to evade my wing attack. So hopefully it doesn't try to do any more Detects. So finally, the wing attack is able to hit this Meditate. And the Meditate is going down hard. Another one hit KO for me. The rain continues, and here comes a much shop. I'll just let Zuni take it out. And this much shop is at level 22. So another wing attack will we'll destroy another fighting Pokemon. Just like it will in the next gym which is a fighting type gym. So Zuni gained 352 experience and he defeated Nathaniel. So he said a loss is a loss, so I'm glad he accepted it. So okay, it's time for me to move forward. And here's a jogger. Don't He doesn't want to um, battle me as usual. So I'm going to cut down this um, tree branch with Anna, so I could get another item. Let's see what I could pick up this time. Found TM34 Shockwave. That's a, a very good TM to use. Good electric attack that never misses. So Shockwave, I could actually teach that to Super Jai right now. And as a matter of fact, special attacks are better suited for my Super Jai because it's a timid nature. So I'm going to give Shockwave... Well, I, I didn't know Anna could learn it. And Hope. But I w really want Super Jai to have it. So I'm going to go ahead and teach it to Super Jai. So I, th I think Spark is still okay for now. I, it still needs Bite. Charge doesn't really need charge. I'll get rid of that. So Super Jai forgot charge and learned Shockwave. Very nice. At least I have a move now that can replace Fresh's Swift that never misses. So now I got Shockwave that never misses. So in case my opponent keeps using Minimize or Double Team, I won't have to worry about missing. Okay, I'm going to hop the ledge and pick up another item. So I found a full heal. Full heals are very useful as they heal any status ailment. Anyways, it's time to move on to the next trainer battles. And as it's by the looks of it, it's the double battle. Bring it on. I'll battle anyone, that's how I'll get better. I'm taking the Veilstone Gym Challenge, but first... Yep, that's right, then you'll have me to deal with first. And I'll test you well to see if you're ready for that Veilstone Gym Challenge. So these are a couple of Ace Trainers. And they've got Glammeow and Monferno. Monferno's the evolved form of um, 
Man, my mind just went blank. Not in, I, oh yeah, Chimchar, that's right. So it's too early, and my mind's not working that well. Anyways, um, it's time to use Confusion on Monferno because it's part fighting. And I'll go ahead and use the Shockwave that I just learned on Glamiao. So alright, Super Jai went for the Shockwave. Looks, it has a nice animation to it. So that did half to Glamia, and here comes a Flame Wheel. And it decided to attack my top model. And that didn't do very much, but it got the burn, which is bad news. And now Glamia is using Faint Attack on Super Jai, which is a dark type move that never misses. So top model, another Confusion. Well, that's the first Confusion it's using. My mistake there. It's super effective, it did a heck of a lot to Monferno, three-fourths about. So my top model is, as you can see, it's burned. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, first gonna restore its HP before I cure its burn. So I'm gonna use Super Potion. And burn's not gonna affect top model's attack. Um, well it is, but um, I don't have to worry because it doesn't have any attacking moves. So I'm going to use another Shockwave on that Glamia. So I could take it out of this battle. So, oh it actually survived by 1 HP I, I guess. So Monferno uh, used another Flame Wheel on my top model. Glamia went for the Growl, lowering both of my Pokemon's attack stats. As it keeps on pouring in our battle. And um, outside of battle. Alright, so it's, I'll finish off the Glamia, I guess, with a hidden power. And I'll finish off this Monferno with... Shockwave. So, uh, adios, you Monferno. Pretty nice experience going around for my team. So, Glamio, uh, another growl. So now it's about to be beaten with a hidden power, and I have no clue what type it is yet. As a matter of fact, I should try to figure that out soon. But it was able to hit the Glamio, so it wasn't a hidden power ghost. So that's all I know for now. Oh, so by the looks of it, I think they have more Pokemon. So. They have two more. Wow. He's got a Gyarados. And I'm glad I have Super Jai out here. And there's a Kadabra. And Gyarados has the Intimidate and it cuts down the attack of both of my Pokemon. So I'm going to switch out Top Model who's pretty weakened right now. And I will switch into Zuni who could bite take a bite out of this Kadabra, and I'm going to use Shockwave on this Gyarados. Let's go Zuni! So Kadabra used the Miracle Eye, so I think it's kind of like, um, well uh, it didn't do anything, so Super Jai used Shockwave on Gyarados times 4 super effective. So Gyarados is going down. So Kadabra is all alone. Time for Zuni to use Bite to finish this battle off. Or Super Jai could use Bite whoever is faster. And Zuni is faster, so it was able to get the bite on Kadabra. So 
so I've won the double battle with these ace trainer um, Dennis and his partner. So alright, that's about all the time I have for you today. Thank you for watching my Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. Comment, like, sub, and I'll see you guys next time.